So inshallah, we're intending to sit here together to mention the holiest name after Allah's name is the name of His Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to praise Him, honor Him, support Him, especially in today's crazy times. Today's crazy world where people are finding it in themselves inspired by their shayateen, inspired by their egoism, by materialism to attack the holiest, the holiest symbols for an entire, for the quarter, a quarter of the world's population. Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu and to depict uh, some cartoons about him sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam saying oh this is a cartoon of prophet no this is a cartoon of your own demons this is a, a projection of your distorted egoism that you jet on a piece of paper this is not prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam you, <laughs> you would, uh, in 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 the in the state you are in spiritually, you can't even imagine to to to, to have the opportunity to to look at the nur nur and nur. Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alaihi light. You can't. You have to be pure, and you have to be, you have to be. Uh, humble to even take a glimpse even in a dream about Prophet Sallallahu so for you to think conjure something from your imagination for people to project their own and ugliness and and uh, Allahumma salli ala and hate and to <laughs> project it onto a piece of paper and say oh that's Prophet Muhammad no that's you that's you and those who are like you that's how you really look on the inside it's not Prophet ﷺ. Prophet Muhammad ﷺ, his face I was described he was a qita'atu qamar he was the full moon sallallahu alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam his beauty was, he has the full husn. There's no one that ever existed or will ever exist that can come, come close to the beauty of Sayyidina Muhammad Again, it's showing me the network is ebbing and flowing. So the red light is going on and off. Can you have everybody turn off their devices, please? Yeah, please. Again. Um, so, yani subhanallah, for to live at a time where people feel it in themselves, and, and you know, subhanallah, you look at it and you say, you know, these people are imagining that this is Prophet, and they're playing on the emotions of the masses of Muslims who love their Prophet, and they can't they can't tolerate anyone um, depicting him in such manners, in such ugliness, depicting, uh, depicting their own ego in such an ugly way and then saying it's Prophet depicting their own demons in such a way and they say, but our, our, for the majority, for the awam, they, they're not thinking about it, that, that, that that's not our Prophet this is their own imagination. And the best way for for these people is to just to to uh, delegate their affairs to their Lord. They're uh, harming no one but themselves, because as we believe, Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu is Habibu Rabbil Alamin. He's the beloved of Allah. He's the beloved of their Creator. So by by saying things about him, it doesn't affect Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Sayyidina Muhammad is beyond reproach. Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi is beyond 
being affected by some distorted minds and, and hearts uh, depicting him in this way or that way. So the biggest um, loser out of this is, is those people and those who are supporting them, is the people that um, have nothing holy, they have no values, they have no ideals, they have no role models, they have nothing. So they look around for the role models of others. They look around for the things that are sacred to others, and they want to distort it. They want to say, oh, it's not sacred, because nothing is sacred to them. So they can't understand that somebody has something sacred in their lives. Therefore, they do this. So they're losers, and they will be double losers, triple losers eternally if they continue, if they don't wake up. But it hurts. It hurts because when you love somebody, Salawatu Rabbi wa Salaamu Alayhi, it's difficult to, to see such hate exhibited you see such anger and such hate and such arrogance towards them. But like we said, it only affects these people. It doesn't affect Sayyidina Muhammad Wasallam in any way, shape or form. His status, his magnificence, his beauty, his light, his stations. He's, he's Sayyid al-Khalq. Beyond reproach, even his name will not be affected. Even long after Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, long after these people maybe, if this world lasts hundreds of years, let's say, Assalamu Alaikum. We started. We, we saw it, uh, <laughs> even if hundreds of years, let's say this world lasts another 500 years or 200 years, when no one will remember anymore who Charlie Abdo is or President Macron, where even their memory is finished, Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, his name will be on the hearts and tongues of billions, as it has remained so for 1400 years. These people are blips. They're just like bubbles. They come, they do their thing, and they disappear. But your Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam His mention has been raised not by elections or selections or people or, or Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says my, to His beloved I have raised your mention O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Who can bring down that mention? When, when the Creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is saying to His Habib, وَرَفَعْنَا لَكَ ذِكْرَكَ يَا, 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 يَا حَبِيبِي يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ I have raised your mention. 1400 years. Allah is showing the whole world, the Prophet ﷺ, look how much he's loved. Number one name in the world is Muhammad ﷺ. Who is loved like Sayyidina Muhammad Who is adored by people like Sayyidina Muhammad So when people come, this guy stands. How many, how many throughout hundreds of years, Orientalists that wrote against Prophet, magazines, books, researches, who are these people? No one remembers them. Do you know the name of anyone who wrote against Prophet throughout the years. They disappeared. Them and their books and their writings. No one knows them. Similarly, those people that are doing what they're doing right now, give it a hundred years. No one will remember who they are. But your Prophet وسلم, until judgment day, past judgment day in the heavens, under the throne, on the saq of the arsh, on the pillars of the arsh, Muhammadun Rasulullah. 
صلى الله عليه وسلم لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم on every gate of heaven محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم رسول الله not just in this dirty as مولانا شيخ ناز دنيا دنيئة dirty life eternally who are these people they come blah 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 and they disappear and he's like the sunlight his name his mention so this is this is the condition we are in we are at the end of times so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to the believers وَلَا تَهِنُوا وَلَا تَهِنُوا وَأَنْتُمُ الْأَعْلَوْنَ don't feel at loss to the believers Wallahu ma'akum he said don't don't feel like but because this one or that one is doing that you're you're loser or no Allah says don't humiliate yourself and you're the ones the believers of Sayyidina Muhammad the followers of Sayyidina Muhammad are above Because they are believers in Allah. They are believers in realities. Wallahu ma'akum. And Allah is with you. So when these people come, they want to do their things. For what? For what they want to do? For dunya. What they, what they, why they're attacking Prophet ﷺ? They don't believe in eternity. They don't believe in anything. Most of these people, they're atheists. They believe in nothing. They have nothing sacred, we're saying. That's why they can't understand why billions of people adore Sayyidina Muhammad and love him and respect him. It's like, so they want to show that he's, uh, nothing is sacred. He's not, he's not special. So they conjure, they imagine, they project the ugliest projections from within themselves. This is their own projections of who? Of their own demons and e egoism and arrogance and hate. They project it onto a paper and say, oh, caricature of Prophet Muhammad. This is a caricature of you. This is a caricature of your own ego. It's not Prophet's all. <laughs> Prophet, we have his actual description. From the people who lived with him, in detail, his face, his nose, his ears, his, his eyebrows, his eyelashes, his eyes, his um, manners, everything has been detailed and not by one, not by ten. In detail he's been described. So we know whatever you're putting on a piece of paper is not Sayyidina Muhammad Whatever you're putting on a piece of paper and saying that's Prophet is not Sayyidina Muhammad It's you. It's Charlie Abdo or whoever they're writing the caricatures, drawing the caricatures or deciding that that's a great thing. What do you think? What are you getting out of it? What is the point? Except some mental illness, maybe. Then, then, and then they 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 instigate and publish this, and then they republish it again. darkness upon darkness, insistence upon insistence. I didn't want this is Mawlid Nabi, but. This is now everywhere you turn, the internet, everything is about Prophet awesome. And it's amazing they pick their time. And but it shows you how much Muslims love Sayyidina Muhammad. Look. Look. If you wanted proof, look. The whole Muslim world is standing up and saying no. We're not accepting. They